What's up gamers, GamerDad here. This is a guide to help you complete the clean getaway most wanted quest, purchase the rift service from inside the vault. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please hit that button and show me that support. I greatly appreciate it. So for this challenge, you need to get in one of the three vaults on the map and purchase the rift service. So I'm gonna outline my strategy for doing this. I've already posted a video on this, but I'll just run through it real quickly here. So at these three locations, Brutal Bastion, Faulty Splits and Shattered Slabs, there is a cold-blooded vault. And to open that vault, you need a vault card. You must defeat a boss to get the vault card or you'll have to fight it on the ground. So to do that, I recommend that you come around this area right here. This is west of the Citadel. You can either start by going to the two locations I marked first and get an oath-bound weapon. Otherwise, you go to the vending machine at the dock I've marked previously there. And then you're gonna come down to the beach and then on to the shore there and head for Shattered Slabs. So, Right below directly there is where the vending machine is. You can look on the bridge or up on that castle and there's often an oathbound chest there. Sometimes I'll go there for my strategy, other times I don't. So I can see that the oathbound chest is not on the bridge. There's a little missing uh, thing there. So I'm just coming down right here. I'm going to loot this entire area. Depending upon which vending machine is here, I'm going to buy a weapon. So in this case it's Ace's Armory, so I'm buying myself the DMR as well as, you know, 40, 50 or so but, um, bullets. There's often a chest up there, so I want to get that. I'm going to open up and use any shields I can get and just basically maxed out as much as I can before I proceed across the lake. At this point, once I'm ready to go, I'm, doing sh I'm heading straight for the beach that is west of Shattered Slabs. And I'm just going to swim there. And so you want to do this straight off the battle bus. Time is of the essence. You don't want to waste much time here. And you're going to go from that dock you just jumped in to this beach right here. When you come on shore here, there's usually some chests. In some cases, there may not be, but there should be some loot. So here's one of these chests. I'm going to grab that. Take this. Now I'm at 100, 100. And so now I'm heading over here to Shattered Slabs. So my first strategy is to see the entrance of the vault because there's usually a cold-blooded NPC wandering around outside. When I, if I see it, I know that the, you know this guy is right there. So I want to pick him off with the DMR. When you see that, you know that too many people haven't stormed the vault. Otherwise, that guy probably would have already been killed. Or at least they haven't come from this side. Now, it's also a good idea to come up on the hill and look down into the vault here, see what you can hear. In this case, I have some grenades, and I'm trying to really get, honestly, get some lucky shots on the boss. The boss is often down there on the very bottom level outside the vault. So I'm just throwing those grenades in there. I'm not going to go down that way because it's kind of a shocker when you drop right on the boss. So I come to this side here. This is the southern entrance coming in. And at this point, I'm not going to lie, I actually thought that the boss was probably dead. And then, bam, there he is. So you'll know it's the boss because he's got the... Uh, the gold on his head uh, helmet or whatever his hood so I come over here deal with this cold-blooded NPC with some kind of poor shooting to be honest though it's 4 in the morning or even 3 30 in the morning Eastern time so my head's a little bit blurry here once I take care of that um, NPC over here I'm gonna build that so no players creep in on me I'm gonna build up here so they can get leverage and get high up on the boss Sadly, I can't see him yet. He's kind of down there against the wall. So I'm going to build a floor out here so I can come out a ledge, per se. Now, I don't have the best of weapons, to be honest. I wish I would have bought, like, a higher-end SMG. But as you can see, there's the boss. If you can get shots on the boss from the top here, um, that's always good. Just be careful. The boss is very aggressive and will shoot your, your builds out quite quickly. So I'm going to nail the damage I can there. I don't want to get into a tough spot. So I kind of do a, a slight retreat here to kind of recompose myself, per se. And now, here's where I really like the DMR, is that you can shoot from afar. So I'm going to build up again over here. I want to tread carefully because I don't want the boss creeping on me. Now, I was really surprised at the aggression of the boss. The boss will become more aggressive as your heat is higher. But this was great because it was j the, the boss is just chilling there, so it allows me to get a few shots in with my DMR. As I say, I pull back. And then nail some more quick shots with that DMR. So we've got half of his health is down now at least. And while you reload, um, depending upon what you do, it's it can't hurt to um, you know regroup yourself, just move back a bit. 
There we go. So the boss is dead. Now all you gotta do is pick up the vault card. And once you get the vault card, make sure that there's no one around. Come over here. Engage this right here. Once Now the vault will open. I use square there to open the vault. It's always good if you have the builds to build up the wall like that just so someone doesn't creep in. Now you're going to get inside the vault now. You're going to loot the heck out of the place. There's tons of loot. Gold, chests, exotic weapons, you name it. Loot the entire place and see that little computer there? It's called Ace's Intel. And once you're fully looted, you're going to interact with the computer and you're going to choose the activate rift option. Once you do that, the challenge will be complete. So there's lots to get in here. Whatever you do, do not use that flusher. So here's there's the computer off to my right. Again, activate the rift and you are good to go. So I do hope the guide is helpful for you. Please drop a like, leave me a comment. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please hit that button to help me reach that 1,000 subscriber mark. I really appreciate it. Have a good day and until the next video, this is GamerDad out.